Ha! No, not gonna happen. Last time on Davi Daw, I gave you this wonderful graphic indicating that Reaper's native plugins couldn't do sample accurate automation. Well, it's that I screwed up. So let's fix this, and I'll show you how to make sample accurate JSFX plugins yourself. This is how things should look if you choose to not implement smoothing. So let me show you how to do this in Reaper yourself. Hop over to the FX browser, right click, create new JSFX, give it a really cool accurate name, hit enter, and then on the plugin UI, click edit. Now delete everything there and paste this in. Hit Command S or Control S to save your work. Close the editor, and now your plugin should look like this. So now let's go back to edit and do the real work. Place this code under the at init section in your editor. Firstly, there's an at slider section, and this is where we tell Reaper when the slider moves, let's do these things. And in this case, when the slider moves, I wanna turn a decibel value into a floating point value that I can multiply our signal by when we process our samples. And to do that, we raise 10 to the power of our value divided by 20. It's very simple. Right now, we'll skip the block section, and in the sample section, we want to get a new slider value every time we process a sample. To do that, we'll use the function slider underscore next underscore chg. The first argument is the slider that you want information for, and the second argument is where Reaper puts the next parameter value. The result of this function is negative one if there was no change, and if it's greater than zero, then that's telling you the sample offset of the change that you got. If our return value is greater than zero, then that means we had some changes. So let's calculate a new multiplier using the next dB value that got filled in for us. Now we multiply our first and second sample by that value, and we're done. Reaper just repeats this over and over and over. This is usually a point where I say that's all there is to it, but it's not. You probably want to add some sort of smoothing or interpolation so you don't create discontinuities in your signal when you just go pop, or just go pop, or pop, or pop, or pop, all, all sorts of things. So I'm not going to cover that. Look up smoothing, look up how to do a simple low pass filter, and then apply that to your modulation signal. Now, that's all there is to it. AdmiralBumblebee.com, Patreon.com slash AdmiralBumblebee. I'm sorry for my weird breathing. I have bronchitis and I'm trying to avoid coughing and I can't really take a deep breath. Have a good day.